today I'm pretty much like renovating all of these wigs because I'm going to be like selling some of my old wigs on my Poshmark which is Beauty by Carla with three A's at the end so definitely search me on Poshmark to purchase some wigs for the low low like I'm talking like $500 wigs for like 100 150 you know what I'm saying good deals and I'll also be selling like clothes on there so check it out but today I'm going to teach you guys how to renovate a wig from bad to good so there's no shedding or tangling or anything I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it pretty much I decided to start recording out of random to be honest so I'm just going to brush it out with my wet brush and right now I'm wearing a wig cap for all of these wigs that I'm like renovating and restyling and I'm really making it really good by adding edges and things like that so yeah you guys here's the party and everything so everything's gonna look totally different and natural when I'm done with it so this is a wig that I'm like debating on turning it into being like super blonde but I don't know so let's start so I'm going to start by straightening it but the first thing that I'm doing to make it look from like drab to fab is adding a strengthening and restoring conditioning design mousse this is by Shea Moisture I'll have everything linked down below this stuff is working wonders for getting these to be super straight and everything I'm not adding too much and I'm not adding too little so I'll show you guys the amount in a second so I'm going to take some of the mousse and put like two pumps into my hands and I'm going to put that all on this one side only and just run my fingers through it and then take my brush and brush it through because it's like styling mousse and it makes it really straight and nice. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And this has just been working really well on all of my wigs. Check out my Poshmark, y'all. I get them good, good quality wigs for the low. And they already are going to have edges and stuff. All you're going to have to do is reapply like your edge control or whatever. Because like good quality lace wigs are hard to find when you can just literally just throw it on and it's already ready to go. So from there I just straighten it and I run my brush through it. I don't know for some reason after adding this product it makes it so shiny and so so smooth as you guys can tell. So I'm going to do that to all of the hair. If you feel as though you need to add more um, mousse, go ahead and do so. So once I get to the top, you want to really make sure that you're straightening it out really good. So get really close to the lace and just really get it straight. Same with all around the edges of the wig and everything. And you guys just see how nice that looks. So let's do the other side. So the mousse helps with any flyaways. So I'm going to go on with a lot more on this side because it just really needs some work. But I'm going to also put it towards the top. And the mousse is just like completely changes the shape and mold of the hair. I'm going to grab these like flyaways and just... Just really sculpt it down with the mousse, y'all. And just let it dry like that. We're going to brush it through and make it look really good later. So apply really a nice amount. And it doesn't make your wigs bad or anything. It's just for wigs that have been, you know, sitting for a while in a box with other wigs so it just needs to be shaped up and restored.
So you guys see how nice this looks, y'all, just from adding mousse and straightening it. This can't even be real. Like what? So this is great. So I personally uh, love it. Wow. Okay. And the mousse at the top, I haven't touched it yet. I'm just gonna, you know, straighten it more. And now I'm just going to uh, brush it out completely where I put all the mousse so it can just like break apart and look super nice. So, I've been really completely renovating these wigs. So I'm like adding edges and everything just to make it look more natural. So I'm about to move y'all so you guys can get a better view. So I just had to move you guys for a better view. So what I'm doing is going in and creating literally edges, but the first thing I'm going to do is add some powder to my part. This is the Bare Minerals powder. Okay, so just go in. and add its loose powder. I like to use this. I think it ends up looking the best. Yup. The next step is to create the edges and add your edge control. So I'm using just some styling gel for my edges. So what I'm going to do, y'all really are gonna need a closer look at this. <laughs> this is funny. So I zoomed you guys in so you can get a real closer look at this. So I'm creating a really thin parting in the front of the lace. Right? So I'm just taking like a little bit of hair like this, right? And then clipping the rest back. So here are my... Just gonna make sure it's focused. So here are my edges I'm about to cut. So you have the edges. It's right on the side of the wig. And you're just going to cut them. And I make them about three quarters of an inch like long or whatever. So it looks like that. From there, you just take your um, styling gel. And I put on the styling gel. You see that's just right where I cut. And then what I do is take a bristle brush. Just like one of these. And scoop over my edges <laughs> and you guys we'll see how easy that is all right so I personally really like how this looks so then when you just take this down it makes your wig look way more natural and it takes me a minute but I just restyle it till it looks how I want it to like look really and I do the same exact thing to the other side so again, do the same exact type of cut. And I'm just using like a razor blade. You can get these really cheap for like $3 or something at CVS or some store like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add my gel. And you got a whole line of edges. And you don't gotta glue it down or do nothing extra. You don't gotta really cut them. Just uh, lick them down, girl. Don't mind the gel on my forehead with my makeup. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that way though. Over. So now. Your wig got edges, you looking on flake, on flake. The mousse helped to straighten out where I put the clip by itself, really. I'm just gonna go in with one more straighten. Then I'm just adding a couple wig sprays. So because I put some product on my hair and stuff, I'm going to add a wig cleanser. It's a rinse-free cleanser for wigs, weaves, synthetic hair, and all of that. I will link this down below. So I'm just going to spray it like three times on both sides to clean out what I just put in my hair. Cause we're revitalizing this wig, baby. Like new. 
See how nice I just made it? And then I'm adding oil-free wig shine, which is key because it's oil-free. So I'm about to just add like two sprays of that on both sides so it's not too shiny. And it smells really good, so it'll make it smell good. Kind of smells like candy. And now you guys, the wig is good as new. And that is how you revitalize your wigs. Subscribe if you're new and I will be sure to catch you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>